Welcome to Tool Tuesday. Let's see what mom's working with today. Alright, welcome back to Tool Tuesday. This tool is something I've added to my arsenal, not because I needed it, but because it was given to me and my grandfather made it for my grandmother um, some 80 years ago. So, well, almost 80 years ago. Right at 80 years ago. Anyway, it is a skein, but it doesn't have a counter or anything on it. And back in the day, skeins weren't consistently the same length. So, you had to be able to adjust your skeiner. And Grandpa made this one so that you could slide it two ways and I'm going to show you this because they're, they're opposite and I've done it this way on purpose. Um, if you look, this little pole, which is about mm, six or seven inches long, is on this sliding part. Okay. Now this sliding part you can take off and turn around to be positioned like this. So this pole is on the inside and there's a big gap on the outside or it can be turned around to have a big gap on the inside and a little gap on the outside. It allows you to adjust this to almost any size skein and it gets pretty big. I haven't ever actually measured it. Um, it's held on with wing nuts. You just loosen the nut and slide it. And if you want to um, take it all the way over, if you want to take the entire um, piece off, you just take it off and put it on the other side. So, um, I think these are pretty nifty. I, I have no idea. You can tell where he started drilling and stuff. He started here. Let's see here. This one right here is a good example. It's a little rough, but at least the bolt slides, and that's all that matters. Now, the arms on this scanner are 26 inches, and they're identical. So, because there's no counter, there's no uh, clicker, anything like that. It has four legs, and I guess the four legs are one by ones. Um, he's got it very well braced. He's got a plate on each side of the leg that attaches to the foot, and then he's got another brace here that keeps it all square. So it's pretty simple to make. Now the only thing that Grandpa did, and the legs, let me get you a measurement on that. The legs are right at 27 inches across. So. Uh, the one thing that Grandpa did is he owned his own machine shop. He worked for Rita Pump, which is a fabrication process, and, and they do a lot of stuff. But wood on wood does not spin very well. But Grandpa being Grandpa, he took and he added, this has a square piece of wood screwed to each of the legs. And then there's this right here, which I'm not sure what you would call this. It would be like dowel, but it's solid metal, and this is a piece of sheet metal. And of course, the sheet metal is cut circular. And this is just attached, let's see if I can flip it up here, don't look at the dust bunnies, with a wing nut. Okay, so that screws in. And then he's just taken his other square here that squares this up, and he screwed in another piece of sheet metal just to cover the whole thing. In this center is a hole drilled for that. So when you slide it on, it's metal to metal. We actually use oil. I've never used WD-40 on it, but I just use a little oil, and that baby can spin. So you probably could make this just of wood, but I like the fact that the metal's in there because it kind of replicates what my grandpa did. He did everything, wood, fabrication. I just have it because I love it.